Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. I am here with Corey Oliver. You guys likely know her from God's Not Dead, maybe basketball <laughs> from, from like way back in the day. Like that's my era, right? <laughs> How you um, did your homework. That's a good yeah. one. <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, uh -oh. Oh, we got phones ringing. Oh, the, right. the computers and the phones. We got to love yeah. our Apple technology, right? Um, Good morning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, Corey, let's go ahead and, first of all, I, I wanted to talk to you because I know that you've been through a number of things, like just through your life, that that you basically you stayed strong in your conviction and you stayed strong in your vision and then it has worked out for you i would like to talk about that because like i told you before my audience is a lot of business builders and and it's easier to stay the course when you know it's safe to stay the course i think so um what would be one I, let's just talk about one challenge, I guess, right now. What would be one challenge that you've been through that, like, you stayed the course and, and like, maybe, so it was, I think the bullying thing is probably, let's, let's yeah. talk about that. What was that like? We can talk about, yeah, I, so I was bullied at a really young age. Um, it just started young for some reason, and, I, and I, I got a lot of names and just a lot of things happened, and I know a lot of people, if not most of us, or all of us, have been bullied in one way or another, whether it was in grade school or it was a brother or sister or friend or husband or wife or whatever it is, and you feel as though you've been bullied or under attack. Yeah. I feel like, you know, those are the moments that I don't want to say completely define us, but they do. They strengthen our character. And they're almost little tests that happen. And it's not it is, yes, it, bullying of any kind is not okay. And I'm not an advocate of it. And I have a daughter who has been bullied. And, you know, I've dealt with that as well. But um, what I want to say is it can, you can sink or swim. And I chose and still choose to swim. And it really is a choice. And, and I'm not minimalizing anybody who has gone through bullying it is terrible and painful and leaves an indelible mark at times but having gone through something a couple years ago that was still a, a bullying type situation i decided to turn my pain into my purpose mm -hmm. and so when you can look at it from that aspect and you can use that pain and help just one person, it, it's worth going through. And, and again, you know, everybody has a different kind of bullying. And now having said that, if somebody's physically bullying you, I, my, my go-to is to report it to authorities or to tell somebody that can help you. That is an, an emphatic, you know, yes, do something proactive to stop that. But if it's a mental or a emotional or, and there's all kinds of bullying, you know, pull and dig deep, dig deep. I, I turn to God. That's my personal. I pray a lot. I go to the Bible and, and I, I, I usually I kind of flip through Psalms or Proverbs and there's a lot of great things in there. And you, and I respect all religions. Everybody has their own path and journey and I'm, I'm inclusive. But for me, I was raised a Christian and I, and I, I kind of go to God and and I, and believe me, I've been on my knees in the fetal position many times crying because I have felt, you know, betrayed or wrong, but you have the choice. We have the choice to wake up and, and conquer that or let it get the best of us. And I refuse to let it get the best of me. Yes. Amen to that. Yeah. That's so, and this comes on the heels of, I just did a, a post in this group anyway. Um, uh, last weekend about the the five percent and we talked about it a little bit beforehand but um, that five percent of your audience whenever you're building a business it can feel like you're being bullied it can feel like you're having somebody just squash and step on your dreams um, because it feels like they are um, trying to make you not look uh, what like um, I don't even know the word for it 
uh, professional. They, they try to make you look less than, right? And it's the, I always assume positive intent. I always assume that they think that they're helping to protect people and whatever, and that's fine, God bless them, right? Um, but there's still your 5%, and that 5% of your audience is scalable, you guys, and it can feel awful whenever it's happening. It's, the, it's usually the loudest people. <laughs> Too. It's like it's that whole squeaky wheel syndrome, right? Like the they just they need to get loud about it, and it's it's but but don't let them stop you from doing what you're doing. That's the entire thing. We are all here uh, for different reasons, and we're here to uh, we're here to have our missions. We're here to have our purpose. We're here to walk in those. So if you feel divinely led to do this thing, if you feel divinely led to run this as a business or whatever you're doing in your brand, right? Whatever you're doing, if you feel divinely led to do so, seek shelter in your creator. Don't worry about the five percent because that's there they're truly not worried about you either. I mean, like at, at the end of the day, God bless them, but they're not, they're just kind of talking to talk. Like we know these people, right? And you know, I've always told my daughter, you know, just, it, it's, it, it, don't surround yourself with negativity. Choose to be positive. And there's enough negativity in the world. And just don't, if you don't entertain it and you don't get in the ring, if you will, then you don't get punched out. And you know, I always say, you know, love your enemies, just love them, wish them well, bless them, and don't engage in the negative um, aspect of anything, really. It's, it's just choose to stay focused. You really have to stay focused. There will be things that, that kind of try to, you know, bring you down. And in fact, I took 13 years off of acting to raise my daughter. And this is kind of a perfect example. And and I enjoyed every minute of it. I would not change anything because she's the love of my life. And I, we had the greatest experience. Having said that, when I went back to go into acting, a friend of mine um, told me that her husband had said that you're too old to play a leading lady. And that crushed me. And I actually entertained that thought for, you know, a few days. And I, I, I went to God and I was praying and I was like, is this true? Like, really? I, I took 13 years off, but how, how can that be possible? We can do all things through Christ who gives us strength. That's my mantra. And three days later, I got a call to play opposite Kevin Sorbo, a leading role in God's Not Dead. And so never let anyone tell you how your path and journey is going to go. It's yours. It's yours. Really, and nobody else can can design or or um, control what God has for you. So, mm. yeah, it was good. I was like, wait, when He shows up, He shows up. <laughs> I know. A friend of mine in here in the group, her name's Vera. She said, "My God likes to show up and show off." I was just gonna say that. Are you? <laughs> Literally, <laughs> but I didn't want to sound like. But you know what? She is great. He does. And, and in ways that you can't even imagine. And so, you know, God took this $1.2 little million dollar movie and it's like this huge, was this huge success. And, and here I was thinking that I, I couldn't even play a leading role because one person said that. Man. And, you know, Lady Gaga, she says it best. And you could be sitting in a room with, with, you know, a lot of people, 20 people, and all it takes is one person to believe in you. And I keep saying this. If you can't find that one person in the room, then let it be yourself. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Yourself. You're just like, you're just, my eyes are like, <laughs> we're going to do this pretty soon. <laughs> oh man, this is fantastic. Well, what, um, so I know that you, oh man, there are so many sentences that want to come out of my face right now. Um, I, I know that you had, well, let's talk about conscious language and how you use your language. Because I know that you made a promise, was it to your grandfather, um, about, uh, uh, about following your dreams and chasing your dreams? Um, it was something, is that, okay. And then like, and so is that what got you into really pursuing Hollywood or pursuing, you know, uh, making like making different productions? Um, What's, what, I'll just stop talking. <laughs> no, 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 
I love you. You're amazing. And, and you, you really did your research, I gotta say. But um, yeah, I think, you know, all my life, I was always singing in a hairbrush or, or in a school play, or I just, you know, I was teased a lot, which was kind of interesting because I, I really couldn't look anyone in the face, but I had this internal need to perform and be, you know, an entertainer. And I, I took, I took care, took care of my dad until he passed away and I was 22. And then I, I just, you know, wanted to pursue and follow my dreams. So I moved to Los Angeles and what everything that could go wrong did go wrong. But I was like, you know, this sounds silly, but the joy of the Lord is my strength and truly is. Like it just, sometimes it would just come down to that. That's all I had, but it got me through. And, um, I did, I made a promise to him and to myself that I would continue to pursue what was in my heart. And so, you know, I could go through that whole story and a lot of stuff did happen and, um, and that tried to stop me from pursuing, but I just kept, you know, staying focused. And then after I had, you know, raised my daughter, I was in the kitchen and I was praying and I was literally crying out and I was like, Lord, I don't know what to do. What do I do? If you don't want me to do this, please take this desire from my heart. It says in the Bible, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. And I was like, if this is not your desire, God, give me a different desire. I'll do it every one. And then shortly after I'd gotten Beverly Hills Pawn, which is a, a show on, on the Reels Network, and then I got God's Not Dead, and things just kind of kept going. And, you know, we all go through valleys and peaks and valleys, and it really is, um, you know, it's where, we get, it's where we get refined, and it's where our relationship grows with God, divine, whatever you want to call it. It's where we understand more of who we are and who he wants us to be. And some of those moments are really painful. But if you can press in and stay strong and believe in yourself and believe in him and ask him, it says, ask and you shall receive. Be specific in your requests. Really, really press in and ask him. He'll reveal to you the path he wants you to go down. And, and it doesn't always look like the one you have in your head. <laughs> in fact, mine doesn't look like it at all, but I feel like it's been a blessing and I've been able to persevere in many ways and it's been a great journey and I'm excited to see what else he has. Yeah. I'll yeah. Sure I'll sure all of that. <laughs> um, oh, is, oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I you can hear myself for a second and then I'm like, ah, don't worry about it. Okay. So, um, I, okay. First of all, you said we were talking earlier and you have Young Living stuff in your house, right? You say you use. I do. I, do. I have a couple friends that actually um, are distributors of Young Living and I'm a huge essential oil fan. I have um, lemon oil, peppermint, lavender, and. Um, lemon, peppermint, and lavender, those three by my bedside. And I found that concoction in this little store in, uh, in Hawaii. They, were, they had those three together. And then I got the love, Young Living ones and um, they're very concentrated. That's why I like your company. I, we didn't even plan on talking about this. I didn't even know that that was a part of this. And so, but I'm letting you know that I, I do support Young Living and I love their products. Um, they have, they actually have a, a, what is it called? It's a, is it Coolzel or yeah? yeah. Um, we have Panaway. I think Coolzel is the is the pain cream. Panaway. Yes, the pain cream. And yes, yeah, uh, yeah. I have it all. I love it. I love yeah. all of them. Um, oh man, there. We talked about this too. God grew everything for a reason, and everything is from the earth. And so, for me, you know, I've created a balm, a lip balm line, and for me. Uh, having natural ingredients in that has been, been the number one reason to do it. I mean, our skin, as everybody knows, is the largest organ. It absorbs everything. If you can put a nicotine patch on and stop smoking, it's absorbing that stuff, right? Or if you can put a body cream on, it's, you're absorbing it. So it's so important to, to know what you're putting in your body and on your body. Um, and so I, I do believe in all natural stuff. Yeah, Sometimes you know. Hard, you know, but... Yeah. 
And it's, I've never actually, I've been in this, this industry for a bit and I've never heard like the nicotine patch thing. Cause we always talk about the skin being the, the largest organ in our body, but I never, I never equated it to, yeah, you receive medicine through patches. Like that's, you I receive like, or whatever it is, but you could put a little oil on it and your body's absorbing it, all of it. So it's yeah, important. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's talk about your, let's talk about the, um, the lip line that you have or the lip balm line. So I, yes, I created it. It's, I have it right here. I'll show you. It's, um, it's five ingredients. Uh, maybe we should actually do a little, little, uh, a little business with Young Living and, and use your peppermint oil. Um, cause it's really, <laughs> it's, it's a jumbo tube and it's, this is the, the original one. It's just basically five ingredients. It's beeswax, coconut oil, vitamin E. I, I went back to basics and I used castor oil um, for many reasons. It's a thick emollient. It's very hydrating and it's, it's sticky. So it, it's the, the lip balm itself isn't sticky, but it really pulls in everything, all of the components that are in it. I created it in my kitchen actually. And I went through many, many different oils. Um, and we came up with this uh, proprietary blend. I do have a lab in, in uh, Van Nuys, so they're wonderful. And then I also have a pink shimmer, which is the one I have on, you can see. Ooh. It, has a lot of, um, it has a lot of sparkle. I love sparkle. <laughs> um, but this you can put on your cheeks, on your lips. Um, this you can put anywhere. It's really an inclusive. I have people... Uh, that say, oh, I use it on my split ends or uh, on my cuticles. Oh, that's or good just an all-inclusive balm. We decided to do a 50.50 ounce. It's one of those products that you could take on a plane and it could substitute for four or five different products. It's They're not going to throw it away because of the size. And um, and you can do a lot with it. Again, it's, it's a multi-purpose balm. And it comes in this little box with the polka dots. And it Aww. has this little thing that says you are the balm so it's oh. a good little i know it's fun i really have enjoyed it and we're working on a lot of new products i work with my business partner and my best friend of 40 years so her name is tara broida and she and i are like sisters and she was actually at the birth of my child and so we've mm -hmm. formed this company and um we're just having a lot of fun uh together and working on products and how I was cool. a makeup artist for many, many years for some of Hollywood's finest. And a lot of companies have asked me to do, you know, product development or products or um, applicators. And so I thought, why not just kind of start my own company and, and help people, you know? That's yes. really what it's about. That's what Young Living does. They're really big on helping people, so. That's, yeah, it's well, like a number your one. peppermint oil in our, our product. Well, I'm just right? saying you, you do know somebody now. So, I mean, I guess you knew, you knew people before. So, so you just talk to, talk to those folks. I got a number yeah. for corporate if you need. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. Heck yeah. Awesome. Well, um, you guys, I believe that I don't want to keep you all day. I love what you've been talking about though. I believe that it's empowering people everywhere um, just to recognize that these things happen to everybody. Like whenever we talk about the 5% or we talk about bullying, um, it in some capacity, I'm not saying that it happens in the same way to everybody. I wouldn't, that, I of course wouldn't say that, but it does happen to everybody. So whenever it happens to you, lean on the person that, that lean on, like for it, for you guys in this group, we lean on each other, right? Um, we we stand each other up and we show each other like we've you know we've got this regardless. Be sure that you have that person that you can lean on. Lean on your creator. Lean on your people around you um, to to help get you through. Go ahead. And iron sharpens iron. Yeah. So you know I, I've been fortunate to be involved in a, an organization called Moms in Prayer. And for 12 years, I did it at my daughter's school. Fern Nichols started the organization. It was a group of women that um, got together weekly at the school or at another location and prayed over their kids. It was a form format and it was a great corporate anointing. And it's so important to stick together and lift each other up. And, you know, those moments when someone's, we all go through it, whether it's our marriage or our kids or, you know, there's a lot that we go through as women and men. Um, but 
stick together, stay together, find your core group, encourage one another, be positive and supportive. And because there's strength in numbers and that's when that your group will rise is when you all, you know, we rise by lifting others. Mm. Right. All of these goosebumps. They're like the biggest goosebumps I've ever seen. <laughs> I am loving this. I know that you have like for the bomb, where, what is the website again? And you guys, like, I know that we're all young living people and we do young living product and stuff like that. Let's also remember to support other people in our community that we're also like, it's not, we're let's, let's also support each other. Right. What was the website for that again? It's Beverly Hills Balm, B-A-L-M. Um, so beverlyhillsbalm.com. And I think they have a promo going uh, for you specifically called Gold. If you type in Gold Getters, you'll get two for one, I believe. Yeah. I, yeah. So I'm actually going to reach out to corporate and see if we can, can, can use some of your, uh, if we can do something with your peppermint oil because that, that might be something that we look into. Yeah. I'll, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll have my guy reach out to your folks <laughs> um, after the video. Yeah. No, awesome. I really believe in products. I use them all the time and I have them. Yeah. Oh, it's, I mean, like I said, I do too. That's, I love, love this it. stuff. <laughs> I love it. I awesome. Well, all the time. right. <laughs> um, well, you have an awesome day, Corey. Thank you for taking some time with us. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And I always tell people that you can reach out to me. I my 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 website is coryoliver.com and there's an email there that goes straight to me. And then um also on my DMs is what it's called, I guess, right? On my Instagram or my Twitter. Please reach out if you have questions or prayer requests or whatever. I'm here for you. So oh, I you. love it. I love it. All right. See everybody later. Bye, Corey. Bye, you guys. Bye, guys. Have a great day. You too. Bye.